Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today we're taking a look at Corora 21 GNOME Desktop. Now, if you are not familiar with Corora, don't feel bad because uh, it's not one of the most well-known distributions out there. However, you probably have heard of its parent distribution, Fedora. Corora is a remix of Fedora. And uh, basically what they've done is they've taken uh, media codecs, drivers for, for video, um, all the third-party stuff that that most Fedora users install on their system, they've gone and installed that already, uh, or they have, or maybe I should say and slash or, have set up the repositories necessary so you can download and install that stuff. Um, so you know, by default, it's got a lot of the video drivers, the uh, the media codexes that you will need for, you know, all the various uh, uh, video and and uh, audio formats. It's there. It's taken care of. Uh, also, got a variety of desktop environments available. Now, I'm running the GNOME just because I am a big GNOME fan. Uh, but if you look here on their uh, their about page, you can see we've got Cinnamon, GNOME, KDE, Mate, XFCE. Uh, so there's a variety of different uh, different uh, desktop environments available. So since this is just a respin of Fedora, the question comes up: Why would you choose this over Fedora? Well, if you were going to have to go and install a lot of software, a lot of codexes, and all that kind of stuff, anyway it's a time saver for you um, you know I have installed Fedora before you know like I've talked uh, like I talked earlier I did a Fedora 21 review not too long ago and it was pretty time consuming installing you know all the media codexes that I needed so that I could do my video production uh, it was it took me a while to get simple screen recorder set up on here and everything it needed so that I could run that uh, you know all that kind of stuff takes time whereas in the case of Corora everything I needed was right there um, I did have to add one repository for simple screen recorder um, but I mean it was a real simple affair um, so, uh, you know, I guess it's com it comes down to it's a time saver for you uh, if you were somebody that needs a lot of a lot of software added and a uh, and, and those codexes and whatnot. Now, the flip side of that same coin is this is a very heavy distribution from the standpoint of the amount of software that's installed. And let me go and pull up our application list. And I mean, you can see there's a lot of stuff installed here. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, as I said before, this is the GNOME desktop, GNOME 3.14. Uh, same as what you will find on Fedora. Uh, now, Fedora, it, you could think of it as the upstream test bed for Red Hat Linux. Uh, and a lot of the developers who are developing for Dora are also playing around with the GNOME 3 project. So if you want the best GNOME uh, uh, experience or, you know, the best, I guess, not the best GNOME experience, but the best default GNOME experience with all the GNOME apps and, and whatnot, then Fedora is, is the way to go. Now, Corora it's a slightly different approach in that yeah it's a real good gnome experience but they substitute other applications when the other application is a better alternative uh, for example in when it comes to videos we've got uh, VLC video player which I think is the best video player out there uh, it doesn't care what format things are in. It, you know, it it plays everything. So they've got VLC instead of GNOME videos, things like that. You know that you know they make sense. Um, but for the most part, you got a real good uh, GNOME experience. 
you still have the GNOME Software Center, you've got GNOME Maps, you've got the GNOME Weather, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so really, you know, there's not much lacking from the from the GNOME experience, um, but they have added some some additional tools to kind of make things uh, roll a little bit easier than they do on Fedora. One is, let me go and pull it up here, the YUM Extender. Now, for those of you coming from the Ubuntu side of things or Debian-based distribution, uh, you can think of YUM Extender as uh, as an equivalent to Synaptic Package Manager for installing packages. So, you know, you just type in what you're searching for, and it'll find it for you. Uh, simple as that and then you could go and you know like say if I wanted to install zero AD here click it click apply it'll run through a little bit of checking for dependencies and that sort of thing and then you can click OK to install whatever package it is that you want to install so you don't have to uh, install via the terminal you can if you want um, you know personally I've always liked uh, synaptic package manager and this kind of fills in that gap but of course if you're a terminal person you can still do it that way the gnome software center uh, to me I think it's still a work in progress uh, I found that it's kind of slow to install software and uh, uh, it can really only handle installing or uninstalling one thing at a time so I think this YUM extender is a better alternative just like in uh, the Ubuntu distributions I much prefer uh, Synaptic over uh, the Ubuntu Software Center so as I pointed out earlier they've got a lot of repositories set up uh, so that you can go and install software that is not already installed uh, but don't have to go through, you know, setting up the repositories and all that kind of stuff. And looking here on uh, one of the pages from the Corora homepage, uh, you can see some of the stuff that they've already set up. Of course, you've got the Fedora and Fedora update repositories. Uh, we've got ones from Adobe. Uh, Corora's got their own uh, package uh, repositories. RPM Fusion, the free, the non-free, the free updates, the non-free updates. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that just right out of the box you can install it if you're the kind of person that uses it. So if you want to uh, if you want to go and install Chrome out of the box, it'll install uh, Dropbox. It'll install out of the box. Um, you know, there's just tons and tons of, of pieces of software that for the normal Fedora user you need to go out and add a repository so that you can install it so you know big thumbs up on that for for making things easy for, oh another one steam uh, you can install steam right out of the box just go to yum packet the the yum extender type in steam it's right there click install and boom it does it all for you so big plus for the gamers out there so I found for the most part the software that I use on a daily basis I was able to either download it from the repositories that are already installed or the software was already installed for me. The couple of exceptions were a simple screen recorder I had to install a repository for that it was easy no problem there were links to it on simple screen recorder's homepage so no problem with that one. Um, second was Google Drive uh, there was not an RPM package. Uh, RPM packages is what uh, what Fedora-based distributions use, whereas uh, you know Ubuntu-based use the the .dot deb packages. We use the RPM packages with Fedora-based. Anyway, there wasn't an RPM package for use for Grive, which is the uh, the Google Drive installer for Linux. Um, wasn't an RPM package for Fedora 21. Finally was able out in the community was able to find somebody that had done the the compilization compilization is that a word 
they had, they had compiled uh, Grive into an R RPM package, so I was able to download it from from his site, and from that point on, installation went fine. Because uh, uh, I wasn't, I'm I'm not familiar with uh, Fedora enough to uh, to attempt a uh, 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 to attempt compiling on my own yet. Anyway, so I got that installed, no problem. The one hiccup that I ran into was that I am running a AMD video card, and uh, I'm, you know, the open source seems to be working fine. I just wanted to see how the proprietary driver worked, um, and there isn't an RPM package for it. And from what I've been reading online. Um, there's a lot of people that have that have been having trouble installing the proprietary driver in Fedora-based distributions. Uh, it's just it does not play nice with Fedora, and of course, Fedora being what it is, they you know uh, basically put their put their noses up at anything proprietary. So um, you're you're not going to get any support from Fedora itself, but uh, there were I did find a little bit in the community, but you need to when you're when you're trying to install the proprietary package. There's a lot of um, tweaking, I guess is the best word for it, that needs to be done to the package so that it can be used. So uh, at least for the time being, I'm just sticking with the open source driver. Uh, you know, it was more than good enough for uh, for shooting this video and really I haven't had any problems I haven't tried any gaming to see how well the open source driver works with gaming so unsure about that but for the most part the open source driver seems fine so like every distribution we've got our pluses and minuses with this one um, things I've got to really give them thumbs up for is one everything is rock solid i mean it, everything works there's no glitchiness and you know no no problems with everything it's just it, you know it 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 all just works and i think part of that comes from the fact that we're running a fedora base with gnome on top of it which was you know in a way designed for fedora um so you know like i said it, everything just worked and it worked great um, to all the software, all the repositories, all that set up for me, you know, that is a big time saver. Um, as I said earlier, having all that software pre-installed, a little bit of a downside from the standpoint of you do have somewhat of a bloated distribution, but it, it, it is fairly easy to uninstall the stuff that's, uh, that you will not be using. Um, and, and and this isn't just Cora, but just about any Fedora-based distribution. The boot time is lightning fast, and everything is snappy and quick. I mean, uh, you know, I was playing around for a while with uh, Ubuntu Mate, and because of being such a lightweight uh, 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 desktop environment, Mate with Ubuntu, you know, it was very fast on on the startup speed. As fast as I thought that was, it is nothing compared to this distribution when it comes to startup times. I mean, it is lightning quick. Um, so I really, really like that. The same with the uh, uh, Fedora itself. You know, very quick on on boot up times. I will say that when I'm installing software, it takes longer for that software to install as compared to the Ubuntu based distributions um, that one's probably not that big of a deal because you know you're not constantly installing software at least most people aren't so that one's not a big deal um, and I guess probably my final point on the distribution and I don't know whether to call this one a positive or a negative because the theming I mean they've changed the theming from the default known theming I don't like the theming that they've used. Now that's one of those just a personal choice things. I the the flat themes. I do not like flat themes. A lot of people love them and think they're great. And uh, 
you know, I don't want to say one person's taste is better than another or whatnot. It's just not for me. But, you know, fortunately, theming is one of those things that's very easy to, to switch and change around. Well, I think that about finishes things up for this review. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Give a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to keep seeing this great stuff. And uh, I will be seeing you all on the next review. Thanks a lot. See you next time.